Hi folks, uh, I've got a couple here. Uh, they're about seven by by ten. It's just a, a, a quarter sheet uh, imperial cut in two. Uh, I wanted. I've gone back to oils for, for this one, or probably hopefully I'll stay on oils for a while before I get back ever get back to watercolors. Uh, three colours plus black and white. Uh, so I want to do the sort of my, my river wandle, but just sort of abstract it. I mean, a bit of a bank coming up here. And I'll do the same here. Uh, Something like that. Just a so, memo. I've got. I'm going to use one brush. This uh, partly worn varnish brush. Lovely brush. A uh, bit of liquid. You got cadmium yellow, uh, um, ultramarine, burnt sienna, and and yellow. So one, two, three colours plus black and white. Uh, white cable on the floor there. I've given these a good coat of. Uh, Gesso and gesso mixed with uh, titanium white. Uh, gesso, uh, PVA glue, thin down PVA glue. Now you can easily uh, treat uh, gesso these with with a mixture of PVA glue. You can use just paint PVA glue, but you'll need two or three coats. And when you buy it from a builder's merchant, something it's usually too thick, so you have to you have to. Um, Cut it down with, with some water, so a good idea to have two bottles and pour some. Uh, well, yeah, it, it, it's a, it's a, a very good good medium. You you can use it to uh, as a, as a bit of an extender in uh, acrylic. You can use it to varnish acrylic. You can't use it to varnish uh, uh, oil painting though. Uh, but there's going to be enough oil in the in the in the paper in the in the painting, hopefully they won't need varnishing. Right, so let's uh, let's just uh, make a start. Let's get a bit of bit of black. Uh, we'll, we'll build up on this. Just have some fun with your paint, really. There's a bit of the wonder where there's a park that side. I left my uh, my my phone. I slipped down the side of uh, side on, when I was sitting on the, one of their nice uh, armchairs in the cafe, the Watermill Cafe, Merton Abbey. Now we've been doing that ride for more oh, ten years, oh, at least ten years, and. So we know we know every nook and cranny of it, but do you think uh, we could? Uh, I could find it when I went back in my car. Uh, that was a nightmare. It's so built up around the the abbey. Well, it's not an abbey; it doesn't exist anymore. But it's but some of the uh, the old factories for for liberties uh, are still there. But they're cafes and little restaurants, so it's a, it's a lovely thing to to be involved in. But it's surrounded by superstores, and I completely miss. I'm, I've never been into it with a car. Uh, we just use our bike, so it's completely disorientated. So uh, eventually got there asking people. Right, uh, see what we do now. You know, I've got no no intention of. Of being literal with with these, it's a good way of painting to loosen up. That's the whole point of it, and be slightly abstract with them. A bit of background. Oh, we can mix that with a bit of a bit of this that, a bit of, a bit of yellow. Oh, let's put a bit of that burnt sienna in.
Well, you can just just imagine. With a lot of colours, you just get confused. I haven't used any of that blue yet. We had a bit of a shock a few weeks ago when somebody collapsed on the river. He was walking his dogs. Got a bit higher than I'd intended, didn't it? But let's get it here, a bit of to read the bank. Can also that. I'm going to use some blue in a minute, we'll get me into the sky. Now I haven't done oil oils for a couple of weeks. I've been mainly doing these abstract, semi-abstract ones. Let's go and do something in there. Let's, uh, We'll lighten that one. Just bring some paint down there. They're both going to be similar. I mean, this of the the wandle. So uh, I put this work on the sky. Just I'm not using any cleaning fluids for my brushes. Just pull them through a bit of towel. It's a bit messy, but we're going to use a bit of bit of a uh, bit of paints. No, let's blacken that. Out. Now you, you can you can modify these to a certain extent when they're wet, but not as easy as uh, acrylic because acrylic dries very quickly. It just doesn't. Most of these are uh, apart from the white, which I've mixed a bit of Griffin white with the ordinary titanium white. That helps helps it dry, but um, the uh, the rest of the colours. Or the black, the, the yellow, and well, I haven't got the red, and the blue. They, they, uh, these four: ultramarine, burnt sienna, paint, uh, black, uh, and yellow are student quality. Dave around the old Windsor and Newton. All right, let's get that in there. So you, you can go over it, but, but it, it blends with, it, with the other extra colours. So let's just get that blue in there, a bit of burnt sienna. Give a bit of a bluey touch behind that. Okay, let's get some more of that. Let's turn a little bit of yellow with that kind of there. Okay, uh, let that settle, we'll do a bit on there. 
Oh, that's right, so squad, eh? Using a bit of liquid, just to thin the paint a bit. I miss the uh, yellow ochre in this, but uh, the fewer colours, less confusion. There'll be yellow in there. So the, the new thing I've got to red in this is the burnt sienna. Bit blue. I try to paint most days, but uh, on Tuesday after the bike ride I was uh, a bit knackered and I had to go back to find my phone. But they had, we phoned up and they, they kept it behind the counter, behind the bar, it was very really nice. So at least it wasn't nicked, stolen. Right, let's uh, get some texture in now with some nice bright yellow. Get these lovely browns in for now the important thing about all painting is uh, apart from abstracts of course but this well this is sort of abstract um, is is um Contrast, light and dark, value. So this is a sort of a bank. Okay, that's, uh, we're going to get some water coming in there, so we'll just get some reedy stuff. This brush is, you can't do detail with it, which is good because we don't have to worry about detail, it's just all a suggestion. We can drag some light in right here. Oh, 
got a contrast. We've got a medium tone around the edge of those trees, so we've got to go light or dark. So we do that. I'll put the water in when I've done the other side. Uh, I might put some uh, shadow colours in there. White and this lovely yellow. Uh, the, I like the burnt sienna. Just a mass, just painting a mass. Put some dark shadow in. Okay, that's one. Let's uh, crack on with that one before we go to the next one. Imagine we cycle along here and then try to stay on. Let's uh, just blend some of that. Is that hair? Yeah. Doing hairs. Oops. That's gone right into my sky. So I'm not worried about the uh, the exactitude of my my water. I am sort of limited with the colour. No, that's gone wrong. Get that blue back. I like that. Put some, uh, yeah, a bit, of, bit of texture.
Oh, well, some dark colour there. Yeah, a little bit fouled up there. Well, I've got a bit of reflection there, so that helps. Okay, we'll uh, leave that now. I can't. So I'm sort of I can probably scrape out a little bit. Right, okay, let's uh Concentrate on the bottom one. Now there needs to be a bit, a bit of light across here. Those colours, but we're going to put some black in, muck it all up. This is shadow, you know, a bit of blue in that. I can't decide where you've got so much paint on the paper that uh, you can't go any further. Spray. Good bit of shadow colours. Good fun this isn't it? Until you try it, until you try these things, I know you've probably got lost a lot of views because of I'm not doing watercolours, but uh, I'm painting what I want to paint. I'm not painting for the for the market, I I'm painting for my own enjoyment and I hope some of it rubs off on you. Let's get a dark green on here, just a counter change. Put that we'll put that yellow back but we'll put it behind some of those dark bits there to keep our bit of contrast going oh, well, let's see if we can get lighter than that So just rough, rough these edges up a bit. So 
Oh, I've got too much paint on there. All right, let's just brighten up that background with a bit of, bit of nice blue. Tree on the left is really bugging me. Mm. Uh, I probably need to take the sky back into that. Get that a little bit brighter. Bring that down a bit. Yeah, turn off. I sort of lost my touch with the oils. But then the three colours are quite challenging. I'll use the handle of the brush to uh, to scrape out that uh, sort of yellow, bit of, bit of white. No, I might do with that. Bit of white. I buy tubes 200ml, 220ml. Best way. You get a lot, but don't go out spending loads of money on paints that you're not going to use or that you're going to give up. I've got a desk covered with paints that other people have given me, friends, because they've changed their, their interests. Look at that horizontal.
probably um, use a, a knife, a paint knife, to uh, we'll get some of that brown in there. Bank in. Oh, is that here? Here. Don't like that. No, it's okay doing. Oops. Doing the uh, the knife on the uh, Be proud. Right, that's uh, all I'm going to do on that. I'm going to dismantle everything and take the tape off and we'll have a look and see what we've done.
Christ, could have moved. I don't know. Well, I'll flatten the board a bit, I think. Okay, well there we are, we've got two, two paintings with three colours, plus black and white. Uh, so I hope you enjoy them. Uh, yeah, I think, a bit, bit there, I think we could improve. Well, oh, that'll do. It's pretty obvious what they are, isn't it? They are abstracted. I, they don't exist. So they're, um, they're sketches, really. But then, when they're framed, if they ever get framed, I don't think this frame is too big for that year. Let's see if I can find another one. Bigger than that. That's about right. Let's, uh, let's look at them individually. Let's get that one up here. That's just about. So that that's one. Uh, hope you like that one. The other one is not quite as good, I don't think. Put that to one side, put that on there. Oh, there we are. And that one. Okay, so we look at the two together. So that was the first one. I quite like that, the way that's come out. No, I think I did this one. That was the first one, wasn't it? I've forgotten now. Oh, well, there we are. Um, three colours, black and white. Can't be more simple than that. Or can it? Leave you with that. Bye for now.